Eddie and I had been working for uh, a few years by now. I, I don't remember which what number of films we had made by this time, but but it was great knowing that your brother was going to call you and say, "Hey, uh, we're going to be doing this movie." Thank It'll you. It'll be the greatest movie we've ever <laughs> Every movie we've ever done has been the greatest movie that they will ever see. <laughs> and a hundred years from now, they will be talking about it. I have to say, it's so long ago, I don't remember much about it except that it was cold, I changed in my car, and they didn't pay me much. <laughs> but I have to say, it was one of the, still one of the most meaningful experiences I ever had partly because I was really dirty and cold and I changed in my car. <laughs> but mostly because of the people that you see sitting up here and those that have gone before. It was a great experience. I played Bill Blakely, a reporter, a member of the New World, going back in a, you'll see, I'm not even going to tell you, because the visuals I remember are pretty good. But I was from the modern world going back into the world that was fading. And I was a little bit of a go-between between the story, the reality of the story, and the audience that we had all oh, those 37, or depending on whose story you believe, years ago. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to be uh, perforce brief, because everybody's got to get home by midnight. But I also want to say, as a member of the Academy, we are very happy to have you here. We're very proud of this place and of this institution. So welcome. Without, without a doubt, one of the most extraordinary artists of all time, for me, that I've worked with in, in my life. It's, uh, the director of photography that changed my life and uh, with this movie, and that's Ray Villalobos. We call him, let me just say, we call him No Light. <laughs> or Smokey. Yeah. One James, of the two. James Gammon gave me that uh, name. Smokey. Smokey. <laughs> Actually, an urban cowboy, he did the film. And he'd come back on the set, and you couldn't see anything. I'd come back from lunch, i go, oh my God, I'm shooting. I just saw smoke, you know. But you get in it and you can see. Anyway, uh, working with these great filmmakers, uh, I had no choice but to really step up the game on this. And uh, my approach, because very organic, and we just clicked, Eddie and Bob and the actors. Uh, we were like, it was the best experience I ever had as a filmmaker because there was no studio. Really, you know, <laughs> they just set us free. They go, okay, make a film. <laughs> and uh, usually, you know, you have the, the suits and everybody else, and we only answer to ourselves. We'd be scrambling up a mountain. We were younger then, me, Bob, and Eddie. Where's the Rio Grande? I don't know. Let's look up here. That looks good. Oh, it's backlit. Let's do it, you know. <laughs> and uh, the crew never got up to us, you know. Finally, the camera would arrive, and, you know, and, it wasn't no digital, it's just the camera. I go, okay, five, six, let's shoot. Great acting, you know. <laughs> Eddie gets on a horse and it comes, you know, he's trying to get away and all of a sudden the horse goes down. Nothing scripted and we're shooting. I'm like, great, great, this is great. Bob's another, Bob was on the other camera and I was on the other camera and um, it was just really organic. Some films, you're just lucky. It's, you know, it's supposed to rain, you know, it doesn't for us. The sun comes out. It was that type of film, and uh, it was the best experience I ever had because we just did it, and we all were like one. Bob said, I don't know who's directing this. I said, I don't know either. Ed, we, we, just, <laughs> we wouldn't talk about anything. We would, just, we would just do it. It was very organic, and we all had the same thought of just making a great film. And so I don't know how it got done, but it did. <laughs> I do. Let me tell you. Yeah, but no, it was just, it was a great experience. And uh, all these people now are my best friends, Eddie and Bob and Pepe and Tom, everybody. Uh, so it was a life, it's a life thing, you know. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy the film. I tried to make it as real. I tried to make it look like it wasn't lit because of the time. You know, I mean, I think it was a thing on the train. Somebody says, oh, that was great. You shot that. You didn't need any lights, huh? I said, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> we had a big generator and everything, and you're lighting, and you're trying to make it look natural. I'm trying to set the tone for these great actors. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy the film, and I'm happy to see my friends again.